Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. Ah, I'm always excited with you guys because we're back with an, another exciting video. And uh, today, which you know, I got some notes. And uh, if you guys have been tuning into my videos, I'm always taking notes because I'm always forgetting stuff. And today is all about SSTP and VPN. Now, SSTP stands for for secure socket tunneling. Uh, what is it? Protocol? Yeah, protocol and VPN is virtual private network. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set that up in three videos. And the first part, I'm um, just gonna get you up and running with Server 2012 and what to install with the roles and features. So let's get started. Now the first thing that you need to do, or what I did, was on Server 2012, I got two NICs, NIC one, NIC two. Uh, you gotta make sure that both NICs have a static IP address assigned to it and the reason that we're doing this is because our first NIC is gonna be our our private network and our second NIC is what people are going to VPN into okay later on in uh, video 2 and video 3 I'm gonna explain a little bit more on that but just uh, get yourself up and running with two NICs assign an IP uh, a static IP address on them and you're good to go now on, on this virtual machine I'm actually burning uh, Server 2012 does, you guys already saw that, and uh, have Active Directory domain services installed, which is not best practice to do that. But you know, again, this is testing environment, so you could do everything in one, one, uh, one, you know, one machine. So let's uh, let's start Server Manager, and you guys want to go to Manage and Add Roles and Features. You want to hit Next on this. Uh, next, Next. Now you're probably saying, oh Bernardo, you have BJ Exchange. Yes, this is my Exchange 2013 because I have future videos and showing you guys how to install Exchange 2013, but that's later on. Don't worry about that. Hit next. And what you guys want to do here is you want to do Active Directory uh, Certificate Services. Click on that, add all the features. Hit next. Hit next. Hit next. And then from here, uh, you want to have certification authority web enrollment click on that add the the features that it wants to add yes you want all that hit next and I normally do a restart the destination server automatically if required sometimes it doesn't do it but uh, and hit install but best practice is do a reboot once the uh, it finish installing okay and we are back guys it looks like everything installed but if you look closely right here it wants you to configure the active directory certificate services on the destination server so we're gonna click on that bad boy and because we are creating it I'm gonna be creating a self-signed certificate if you guys do have a certificate you guys don't need to do these um, steps so let's click next uh, you want to make sure certification authority is checked off as well as certification authority web enrollment is checked off uh, we're gonna hit next on that uh, on the specify the specific type of the CA I'm gonna do an enterprise CA because uh, enterprise CAs must be a domain member and are typically online to issue secure uh, issue certificates or certificate policies that's what we want we're gonna hit next uh, again we want to do a root CA on that uh, create a new private key yes uh, keep it as SHA uh, SHA1 as the default hit next leave all this hit next there's a lot of next on this only if you guys want to change the defaults I'm just gonna leave everything as default because again this is only a testing environment not a production environment hit next hit next and configure Awesome. Now, uh, configuration was succeeded. That's always a good thing that you see those green check marks because if not, uh, something's wrong, you got to go back. So I'm going to close this bad boy up, close that up. I'm going to minimize my server manager and I'm going to do a Windows R command and I want to do an MMC command, which will bring my console. And you want to go to file, add, remove, snap ins, and the one that you want to add would be certificate authorities. Let's add that. You want to add the local computer, hit finish. Okay, awesome. And from here, you want to expand and get into the certificate templates. Okay, within the certificate templates, you want to right click and you want to do a manage. Okay, uh, let me open this guy up. And within manage, you want to go into a IPsec. So we're going to right click on that. Actually, 
yeah we're gonna duplicate the template and from duplicate the template you want to go into general and I believe within my notes if I'm not mistaken I called it SSTP dash VPN and within let's see look at my notes guys within the request handling I did a request handling I did allow private key to be expected. Uh, I went to the subject name and I did supply and request in the request and just press OK for the warning. The warning is basically current settings for the certificate of a template allows a client to submit a certificate of request using the sub blah blah blah. Just hit OK on that one. And uh, you want to go into an extension and within an extension you want to make sure that you select application policies, hit edit, uh, add, and the one that you want to add. I believe would be ooh, server authentication so let me double check on that because yes it is server identification we're gonna press OK on that press OK apply it press OK and we're gonna close it now from here you're still back inside your your console and you want to right click into your certificate templates and you want to go into I believe new and certificate templates to issue and then within the list you want to find the one that you guys just created which would be the SSTP VPN now you guys don't really need to name that uh, you can name whatever you want that's the name that I picked uh, I'm gonna select it hit OK and that's it guys uh, see me in part two in part two I'm gonna show you guys how to get up the RRAS as well as get the firewall settings up and running and hopefully in part two I show you guys uh, Hi-O works on the remote side. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment. Please give me thumbs up. Please subscribe. And at the very bottom of the description, there's a bunch of links that you guys can go check out, uh, as well as the notes. And uh, catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.